Hey guys, Birdo here. Um, decided to do a full-blown aquaponic garden. Uh, the one I tried before with my old sump was uh, of really poor design. And uh, it was just enough to give me the bug to want to do a bigger one. So I've dedicated this portion of my garage to the new aquaponic system. Here's my uh, holding tank for my RODI. Uh, the washer will go here, the dryer will go here. Right now I'm painting the floor so that uh, no one will be... that will look cleaner, be brighter. No one will have any reservations about eating anything that comes from my garden. Okay, that ought to do that. Got the uh, floor painted, ready to go. Nice foundation for some uh, living water aquaponics. So next up, sheetrock. Okay, we've made a little bit of progress. We've got the uh, basic frame uh, made up, installed. Uh, as I said, I'm going to have the 110 gallon uh, fish tank below. Thinking I'm probably going to turn it this way. So it's perpendicular, and uh, then the 240 grow beds up top, solid, square. I'm gonna paint it all. Moving forward. Okay, the end of a work day, and I believe uh, got all the carpentry taken care of. Uh, I'll hit to uh, painting tomorrow, and. Uh, then we'll work on the plumbing and the uh, the timer and the pump, you know, all that stuff. Um, got all the lights working. Let me show you what that looks like. Yeah, that's it with the lights on. Put them on a pulley system so I can adjust them up as I need to. Um, did get two four foot eight tube fixtures and uh, for my two, for now, for my 240 gallon grow beds, I think that'll be. Plenty. In fact, I laid these grow beds out side by side, and I could easily put a third 40 gallon grow bed up here, which I'll probably end up doing. Uh, another neat little gadget I picked up was the uh, Light Rail 4. I don't know if you could see or not, but it's creeping along. That's going to hold my uh, LED fixture. So it gets down to one end pauses and then takes off going the other end so the LED will give full coverage close coverage to the uh, full and close to the grow bed so it'll hang down just above the uh, the canopy so paint tomorrow Well, we've come a little bit farther on the project. We've got uh, got everything pretty much set. Got the uh, adjustment right on the water flow. Right now, everything's in standby for a reason. I'll show you here in just a minute. Um, Use the Fimco. Where is it? If you can see it. Used a Fimco indexing valve, and originally it didn't have an, my pump didn't have enough power to kick it to, to make it switch from one uh, 
side to the other. So I called the guys at Fimco and they they were aware of the issue that aquaponic people were having with them because of the low pressure pumps. So he sent me free of charge a new cam and uh, bulb set. And I hooked that up, put that, installed all that, and it worked great. So the water, when it's pumping, will pump from the 110 gallon tank. I wonder if you could see any of the fish. I just got these little guys in. Anyway, the water will pump from the 110 gallon tank up to zone one is these two grow beds here and that will run for 30 minutes um, you know flooding and draining via the uh, bell siphons and then pump will shut off for five minutes when it kicks back on the indexing valve will switch it over to zone two which is my aqueduct here that holds uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14 15 little netting pots. There's one of my tomatoes that I got from my uh, 10 gallon aquaponic. He's doing very well. Um, anyway, the water runs back down here evenly and back into the tank below. Now, as you can see, I'm starting some lettuce. So I'm going to be running these all around the perimeter for now. Um, the light, I have a 240 watt LED light running back and, back and forth on the uh, light rail 4. So right now I'm just doing this for the video. I know that the seedlings certainly don't need that much light. And nothing else is getting it, so this is just for the benefit of the video. We'll turn it off until I get the uh, lettuce in and something else in the main beds here. But Anyway, I'm hoping you can catch some of these tilapia. They're pretty cool fish. Got 16 of them in there. And we cycled it all with stability. And 110 gallons of water even though it sat for oh, a good week before I actually introduced the fish, which should have normally taken out everything in there anyway. I, for preventative, preventative medicine, I used some prime. So that's it.